When most people think of halibut, they think of a piece of delicious white meat on a plate. But the actual fish, you know, they can be enormous. They can be up to 500 pounds in weight, and they're very predatory. This is what I was using on the end of my line. This is a plastic jig. This was attached to a large weighted hook. And this wasn't fished statically. I'm actually moving this up and down in the water. I'm jigging it, you know, several feet up and down. So this is a moving target and that triggers the, the predatory response. The halibut comes in and nails it. And uh, that's what a halibut's teeth do. And I actually got through several of these. Oh, that's far off. <sighs> what I found out very quickly in Alaska is that sport fishermen don't tend to bring large live halibut onto the boat. They're either going to harpoon them first or quite often they will shoot them. Now, there's no way we want to do that. River Monsters is all about showing the fish, but then returning it alive, unharmed, back into the water. So we had a challenge here on our hands. And what we ended up doing was rigging up a net on the side of the boat. So what I had to do was to maneuver the, the halibut um, alongside the boat into the middle of the net. And then I think we had four people fold the net back so that it's enclosing the halibut and then lift it up over the side of the boat onto the deck. The problem now is what halibut normally do once they're on the deck is they start kicking around and, and people have had their legs broken by big halibuts. Now the skipper told us one thing you can do to calm them down a little bit is rub the lateral line. Right, it's, it seems calm now. So having rubbed the lateral line, I got the, the skipper yeah. and, and the mate to lift it onto my knees. OK, this is a big halibut. This is 120 odd pounds, heavy to lift, heavy to bring in. When I was actually holding the halibut, um, the skipper actually told me later that he thought any moment it was going to kick off. And I have to say, when I was holding it, I had this feeling as well, that it's, it might be OK now, but any moment it, you know, all hell is going to break loose. But it just sat there. And I think it, you know, it could be something similar to what happens with some sharks and catfish and even some eels. And that is, with those fish, if you turn them onto their backs, uh, it's a thing called tonic immobility. They just relax. So maybe with a halibut, uh, you turn it on its side and a similar thing happens. And as far as I know, this is the only time a big halibut has been brought onto a boat, handled like that, and okay. released unharmed.